Select the correct insulin vial, check the expiry date and date of first opening. Gently invert the vial several times to mix the contents. Select an insulin syringe and needle. Introduce the needle to the vial aseptically. Draw back the correct volume of drug required, in this example 5 international units. Withdraw the needle from the vial. Either resheath using a foam block or place an unsheathed needle into a plasticine block for the examiner to check. Instruct an assistant how to restrain the dog effectively. Select the appropriate injection site, either the animal's scruff or flank. Pick up a skin fold with one hand and introduce the needle. Draw back slightly on the plunger to check for venipuncture. Then inject the drug slowly. Withdraw the needle from the patient and massage the injection site gently. Dispose of the used syringe and needle in a medicinal sharp spin without resheathing the needle. Record administration of medication fully on a hospital chart, including the date, time, drug, route of administration, volume of drug, and initials of nurse who administered the drug. You have now demonstrated a safe, effective and aseptic technique. Select the correct vetagesic vial, check the expiry date and date of first opening. This needs to be within 28 days of opening. Select an appropriate syringe, 1 to 2 mils depending on the dose would be suitable. Select an appropriate gauge needle. In this example we are using a 23 gauge times 5 eighths. Select spirit and cotton wool. Assemble a syringe and needle aseptically by opening the seal of the packets. Shake the vial to mix the contents. Swab the top of the vial. Introduce the needle to the vial aseptically. Draw back the correct volume of drug required. In this example, 1.2 mils. Withdraw the needle from the vial. Change the needle and dispose of appropriately. This can be done by either resheathing safely using a foam block or placing the unsheathed needle directly into the sharps container. Instruct an assistant how to restrain the dog effectively. Select the appropriate injection site. In this example, use the quadriceps muscle. Stabilise the injection site 
with one hand and introduce the needle at right angles to the skin. Draw back slightly on the plunger to check for vena puncture. Inject the drug slowly. Withdraw the needle from the patient and massage the injection site gently. Dispose of used needles in a medicinal sharp spin without resheathing. Dispose of the syringe in an appropriate container. Record the administration of the medication fully on a hospital chart. Include the date, time, drug given, route of administration, quantity of drug and your initials. You have now demonstrated a safe, effective and aseptic technique. Select the correct clamoxyl vial. Check the expiry date and date of first opening. Select an appropriate syringe, 2 to 5 mil, depending on dose. Select an appropriate gauge needle. For this drug, a 21 gauge or 20 gauge is appropriate. Select spirit and cotton wool. Assemble the syringe and needle aseptically. Swab the top of the vial. Shake the vial to resuspend the drug. Introduce the needle to the vial aseptically. Draw back the correct volume of drug required. Withdraw the needle from the vial. Change the needle and dispose of appropriately. The needle can either be resheathed safely using a foam block or placing the unsheathed needle directly into the sharps container. Instruct an assistant how to restrain the dog effectively. Select the appropriate injection site, in this case the scruff of the neck. Pick up a skin fold with one hand and introduce the needle. Draw back slightly on the plunger to check the vena puncture, then inject the drug slowly. Withdraw the needle from the patient and massage the injection site gently. Dispose of used needle in the medicinal sharps bin without resheathing. Dispose of the syringe in an appropriate container. Record administration of medication fully on a hospital chart. Include date, time, drug given, Route of administration, quantity of drug and initials. You have now demonstrated safe, effective and aseptic technique. Remove the cover from the fluid bag. And hang the fluid bag on a drip stand. 
Remove the protective tag from the administration port. Remove the administration set from the packaging. Turn off the regulator. Insert the administration set into the fluid bag using an aseptic technique. Squeeze the chamber approximately one third to three quarters to fill. Release the regulator to fill the drip line at a reasonably slow pace. Check the drip line to ensure there are no air bubbles left within the drip line. Ensure there is a minimal wastage of fluid, but air bubbles must be removed. Hang up the line, ensuring an aseptic technique has been maintained. You have now demonstrated safe, effective and aseptic technique.